power, I believe it's the strength of the hand itself. What do you mean? Okay, well, have you, have you heard of the fact that, uh, you know, where does his power come from? He doesn't look like he hits hard, but he fucking hits like a mule. Yeah, absolutely. I'm firm. I'm a firm believer because I was thinking like, the power then just comes from the strength of the grip of the hand. It's like saying, okay, let's p- picture it as being a hammer. Okay. Right. If I have the stick, the, the, what do you call the stick? Hard as a rock, the right attribute. But this is made out of feather. Doesn't matter how hard I hit it, it's gonna be hit, be hit like feather, right? Right. Now, picture if this stick is made out of garbage. But the actual fucking thing is made out of steel, and I drop it. Guess what? You're gonna feel it. You don't. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm trying to say right now. You understand what I'm trying to say? Absolutely. So picture the hammer, the head of the hammer made out of steel, but the, maybe the bar is made out of plastic. You drop it, it fucking hurts. Yeah. So picture the bar made out of wood or made out of steel, but the actual fucking hammer is made out of fucking feather. <laughs> Where are you going? You don't feel it. Ah, that's a, that's a good analogy. I've been thinking about this for many, many, many fucking years. And I said, where does power... Uh, look at this guy. He hits like a mule. I look at this guy. He's fucking ripped. Like a fucking bodybuilder. Can't punch if his life depended on it. Depended on it. And I was doing shadow boxing with my father. You have to see my father's hands. Yeah. Sausage fingers. And I said, Pops... Go like this. I said, hit me, hit me. He hits me. I'm like, motherfucker, that's, it hits hard. So I was like to my brother, okay, let's do a test. Let's get Pops to hit you in the in the hand and then I hit you in the hand. Just just arm punching like that. Just like this. And I told my brother, what hurts more? He goes, Pops. It's the power of the hand. It's the strength of the fucking hand here. This is where fuck. Yeah, twist. Make the right technique. Turn your hip. Pivot all that bullshit behind it. Yes. But it's the power of the hand. The strength of the hand. I'm a firm believer. So do you think there's any way to strengthen the, the hands? Like what? The, yeah, the grip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You could do that. You know, I think I think so. Now, I think that's what I think. Where power comes. It, it's starting to make sense. when I. It makes it. a lot of sense. Uh, I don't know if there's a scientific way to prove it, but I'm starting to think, okay, let's think about the biggest punchers, right? You look at Mike Tyson. He hit like a mule. But I bet, oh, Triple G, for example. Okay, yeah. Look at his, he's not ripped. Go shake his hand. Yeah. I, I met him once. He does have a very firm grip. Go shake his hand. Yeah. Go shake, uh, look at Prince Nassim Ahmed. Was that guy supposed to hit hard? No. Go shake that guy's hand. See, how, see uh, I bet you he's got a strong grip. Yeah. You know? So, so the grip. I huh. think so. I don't know, man. I'm starting to, I mean, how no, else would you explain it? It makes a lot of sense, though. Like how you said, some guys could be huge and ripped and can't punch worth anything and then some guys could be small and lanky like if you look at a Thomas Hearns when he was at 147 you wouldn't think he could punch hard but he could knock a person through a brick wall you know it's that nerve system that nervous system in the hand and then the proper now you have a firm grip and you turn and you twist your body and you sit down in a punch it's gonna have a lot more leverage to it of course Mm-hmm. So that's what I, I'm starting to believe that. I've been thinking about this for a few years. And I said, man, this guy, I had a friend of mine. He couldn't fucking bench press 120 pounds. He was a middleweight. Out of shape looking guy. He was a fighter, very good fighter. Not bad, not bad, I should say. I used to spar with him. I used to shit bricks when I spar with, spar with this guy. Yeah. And he, I said, fuck, this guy cannot lift, can, can't lift a fucking pound because life depended on it, on, on the weight machines. But get hit by a right hand, holy shit. He could crack. Explain me that one. 
Did he, uh, was it his grip? What do you think? I'm sure it has to be his grip, because this guy could have bench press 100 fucking pounds. That's insane. I've never, shit, that's not even a 45 plate. <laughs> Very hard. Holy shit, can he crack, redhead. He was only 5'7", from away. Very small. He was a little flabby. He fucking had power, this guy. Like, real power. Hmm. That, I wonder, is there a way to test that grip? So it has to be. Conversation and you think about it, and you bring it up around, around others and see what they think. Because I think I'm the first to come up with this analogy. I've, I've been thinking about it for such a long time. I said, fuck. I don't know what I was doing. I must have been hammering something. I don't know how it came about. That's how it happens, though. You just go through your day, and then something just clicks, and you say, oh, shit. This is like a punch. Picture yeah. a hammer, again, picture a hammer, beautiful bar, a terrible head, feather head. You don't feel it. It does nothing. Picture a hammer, terrible bar, a head of a steel. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs>